Now, let's look at the opposite of uh, divestment, and that is acquisition. Right? Here, we are considering a strategic option where a company is asking whether it should uh, buy over another company. Right? Now, um, acquisition has not been uh, a major business feature in India so far. Right? But definitely in the next uh, 10 years, we are going to see a lot of acquisitions taking place. What are the positives of uh, acquisition? One major positive is in the marketing area, where uh, acquisition could complete a line of products. For instance, uh, let's take an automobile company manufacturing uh, cars and uh, two-wheelers and uh, tractors. Now, for such a company, to acquire a three-wheeler company so that it completes the range of automobile products that it offers makes a lot of sense. So, acquisition from the one of the positives of acquisition uh, is that it could complete the range of products. Alternatively, acquisition has another positive in the uh, production area, right? Acquisition could um, bring in skills. It could bring in scarce raw materials. It could bring in production capacity into a particular uh, company. Okay, um, this is another major advantage of uh, acquisition. The third uh, advantage is the in the finance area. We have seen a number of acquisitions in India where uh, the companies that have been acquired owned large areas of urban land. Now, these companies were um, set up uh, a long time back to manufacture different kinds of products, right, which they had stopped making. But because of their historical association with, uh, with the country, these companies had large areas of urban land at different places. Now, these such companies were acquired by uh, Indian uh, business groups. For instance, the Times of India itself. Right? The Times of India has large areas of urban land, very productive urban land at various points. Now, this provides um, an option for somebody acquiring a company like that to uh, gain assets cheap. It provides tax benefits because if you acquire a company which has been making losses for uh, 10 years, then you can set off those losses against your profits and uh, that's a means of uh, tax uh, planning. right? So, finance is another positive in the case of acquisition. And uh, finally, you may overcome an entry barrier. Right? Now, sometimes there are some kinds of distribution channels which require a lot of time to uh, develop. For instance, if you are talking about a home selling proposition, right? then to acquire a company like uh, Eureka Forbes, right, which uh, used to base its entire marketing strategy on uh, home selling, right, Acquire acquisition of a company like that would make a lot of sense. So, these are the positives of acquisition. Now, acquisition also has uh, negatives. One, of course, is that uh, are we spending too much money? in acquiring the uh, company. Right? Then, uh, another issue sometimes is that uh, there, there's a question of uh, customer revolt. You know, there's an emotional revolt by the customer. The customer simply does not accept 
that company in a new name. So acquiring such a company is not a good idea because the customer will not uh, respond to that company in a new name. And finally, there is the issue of culture incompatibility. Right? Now, we've seen in one of our earlier sessions how it's difficult for uh, companies with uh, different cultures to integrate and to work together. Now, acquisition has this uh, problem. So, acquisition is a uh, strategic option which has both positives and negatives. Here again, we need, when we choose this as our strategic option, we need to consider both these uh, aspects. 